Hello, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Ashley, the amateur expert, coming to you live today for this episode of Talk Tuesday. If this is your first time joining us, I am so happy that you're here. Um, we, I am going to be having a conversation with Michaela of Manifest um, Peace. She actually was my second guest um, on Asking for a Friend, and so I'm excited to have her back today to discuss her career path. Um, her idea of success, her tips and motivators, and um, all the things in between. So, Michaela is with us now, so let's get started. Maybe, possibly. Yes, here she is. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. How are you? <clears throat> I'm good. I'm going to just like fix this so I can not be so. Okay. Great. Hi. Okay. <laughs> looking good. Looking great. Thanks. Um, so before I allow you to introduce yourself or give you the floor to introduce yourself, I just want to sort of just say how we sort of met, which is awesome. An awesome yeah. story. <laughs> um, so we met on um, a random generator, right? On yeah. um, Christina oh. Rice's Om Noir, Om Noir's first, very first um, virtual wellness retreat. She had this networking um, platform on Hopin, and we literally were pushed together and you were talking about all the things that you wanted to do and I was like girl let's let's talk offline let's see how we can work together let's collab and you've done so many great things since then and I'm super excited um for you and I'm happy for you to share your story with us today so my dear can you please introduce yourself tell us who you are and what you do currently for work all right I'm just as excited. Thank you for sharing that story because I think it's such a beautiful evolution. <laughs> um, sure. So I'm Michaela, Michaela Wood. I'm Michaela of Manifest Peace. Um, I am currently a holistic perspective coach, a CEO, an entrepreneur, a daughter, <laughs> and everything more just a being. Um, and that's just what I do for my career. I help other people to be to find peace, to show gratitude, to manifest everything that they want um, in their lives. I love that. And so when you were a little girl, Michaela, what did you want to be and why? I wanted to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. Like, I wanted to be a teacher so badly um, ever since I could remember. I loved books. I loved, like, anything that is nerdy I guess you can say like I was such an I was such a homebody that just liked to like teach like I had a chalkboard in my room everything I was such your average teacher um and I wanted to be a teacher I really don't know at the time I think it was because I had grown up in such like a a different environment okay and I always found like not every teacher, but I wanted to be that one good teacher that mm. really helped um, students. That one good teacher that really was there, always there, holding her children accountable um, to be so something greater. I love when that. I was younger, I was like, I was like pretty not good like I was just like, not good I was really fucking bad I was pretty <laughs> <Yeah>. not good <laughs> yeah <laughs> like I did a lot of uh, interesting things mm. so for a child and I ended up being in like a TLC program because of okay. my behavior what's and TLC so that was like yeah it was like special education program like, okay yeah and so the teacher I like felt so shitty about myself my worth just was not there I didn't feel mm -hmm. it no value nothing and my teacher was like Michaela you're gonna be present <laughs> I was like I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> but no I'm not <laughs> and I still remember her to this day mm. 
it's just the impact that a teacher makes on their their students For sure. is amazing. So I actually was a teacher before I was a life coach. So I, I did love get that. So, okay, so when you wanted to be a teacher, and I think you sort of touched on this before, um, but what did success look like to you? Or what did you think success was? Or maybe maybe not as a teacher, but just maybe as a, as a young girl, what was your idea of success? The Babysitter's Club. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Did- at first, I was like, did I ask the wrong question? <laughs> no, not at all. That was my success. That was, like, what I was sure was success for me was running my own babysitter's club, like, outside, having my I own camp, being able to have, like, friend employees and answer the phone, like, hey, this is the babysitter's club. I made, like, that was my first website was a babysitter's website. I made it, like... I was like 12, I think, and I made it <laughs> with a friend of mine. We were over the phone. It was like 12 in the morning. And we were just like making this babysitter's club website. And it was, I love it. that was my idea of success. Just like I having love a that. <laughs> <laughs> I really was like, wait, maybe I said the wrong thing. Um, <laughs> no. no, I love the babysitter's club. I read I, all of the babysitter's club books. The movie, I think the movie's on Netflix now. We should have a watch party. Yes, for sure. Okay. I'm always down. All right, I, perfect. I just watched it recently. Like, Did you? Yeah. Okay, fine. Well, we don't have to have a watch <laughs> party. It. No, um, I still would watch it again. So no okay. <laughs> so just so you mentioned that you were a teacher, can you sort of give us your your career path to wanting to become um it's a Netflix series um it is a Netflix series thanks Raj um your your progression to become this holistic teacher realistically or coach um yeah so I was a teacher I was a preschool teacher I was in school for early ed and I was gonna that's really where I wanted to start because early ed is so important um we don't even understand like it's that's just where it begins for our children hey darling dear rihanna that's where it begins for our children is they're four or five and they're learning all these things from their parents so that's where i wanted to begin and i began there and it was amazing my children like freaking loved me um but then actually so i didn't want to stop being a teacher this is like, I think you're probably the first person getting the real, like, the not the real story, but like the breaking th- news. Th- Let's th- go. Th- Let's go deep. So I actually got, I was like going through a lot in my mental, in my mind. Okay. I had not manifested inner peace yet. Let's just mm. note that right there. Okay. Um, And I, my mom had just left for Georgia. And so I was just like on this roller coaster. I left my religion and um, I just went off the rails because I was so used to being boxed in. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't used to it. So I went off the rails and I actually like did something really crazy to my ex, ex, ex boyfriend. and we, don't have, I, we don't have to share that part. No, we don't. But <laughs> I did end up going, getting arrested for it. And wow. I ended up like having to be in court for like a year and a half or something like that. I was on probation and all this other crap. So I couldn't work as a teacher anymore. Like, Got it. That was just it. I tried to go and sub because I was also a sub for elementary schools and continue like my career path with it. But I just, they were like... We love you, but not with this record. We can't let it. Right. Um, so I had to wait till it became expunged. And the time was so long. And my journey just ended up bringing me to this court, to this path that I'm at right now. Mm. I was like, I moved down with my mom. I ended up becoming homeless. I like went from job to job. I was like, I just was sure if I couldn't be a teacher, I couldn't be anything. Right. So I started working like pizza places, delivery drivers, just like feeling crappy. Mm-hmm. Um, I then I was like homeless. And that was when I ended up getting in like 
a really serious relationship, but at the time, um, it was me. I was really just like, I was just like splurting toxicity out to the universe. And it was exactly what I was just like getting back. So I ended up like just going through the relationship. I got better jobs and things like that. I became like, I began working at a hotel and, you know, became night auditor. So I was making like decent money. I found a stable place to live with him and all that good stuff. And it was beautiful. It was amazing from where I was only like a year and a half before, but I was still getting in a lot of trouble. So there was still a lot going on, but eventually I was just like, I can't do this anymore. (laughs) Like I'm going insane. I'm not happy. I'm Mm -hmm. feeling aggressive all the time. Like I got to get rid of this shit. (laughs) It can't be held down anymore. So I decided to just like begin this book. You can heal your life by Louise Hay. And Mm -hmm. That book's been coming around in circles for me for years, since I was, like, 15, I swear. Um, And I finally, like, sat down. I studied it. I read it. And she uses a really basic theory, a thought like a sentence. It can be changed. So I just started really, like, changing my thoughts and changing Mm -hmm. my shoulds to coulds and being better. And so I broke up with my ex. Um, At the time, I just, like, hated him, and it was all his fault. Now it's not, I have to say. (laughs) It was really me. Um, But there was a lot to it, and so I broke up with him. I went through that journey, and then I became, like, really, really, really sick. Oh, so when I was reading that book, I decided that I wanted to be a life coach. So I was doing – I was night auditing. Yep. And I was doing so much better with my life. I'd already broken up with my ex, all that stuff. And he, no, not he, sorry. Let me catch my thought, thought really quick. Sometimes my mind moves so fast. But I was like making coffee, night auditing. And yep. I was like, wow, I'm really good at changing my thoughts. So I started like looking into life coaching. I started watching YouTube videos like crazy on life coaching. And... It just, like, was something that flowed. I didn't become a life coach at that time because I still wasn't ready. I actually, it was, like, a few months later, I actually ended up getting really sick. Um, And that's when I was, like, that's when I really started dedicating time. And I had already grown up in a natural alternative approach of a world, like, where you're using, like, specialized kinesiology, magnetic light therapy, and, like, all these natural alternative approaches. So I'd known like there was a way for me to heal myself. Mm -hmm. And I also knew that my thoughts were creating a lot of the sickness that were in my body and the traumas that were in my body. So I just really went deep. Like I didn't care that I was sick. I would wake up and just like journal and work on my thoughts. Like, okay, my lungs are in a lot of pain right now. Why do I, what thought is happening in my head that's making me say that I can't breathe? Like, what's going on with my body? Mm. What's going on with my mind? And that was the journey that really brought me to where I'm at right now. And so basically, you went back to your roots. I went back to my roots. I call the work that I do reparents. Well, it's, I don't reparent things in actual, an actual thing. But I call the work that I do, like, just going back to basics. We always think that Everybody wants to manifest and manifest and manifest, but we can't manifest anything until we go back to basics and start to do the reparenting work in ourselves, start refreshing like each of our chakra points, start just like moving forward and bringing our body back to like its natural energy flow. So Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. So what is your idea of success today? My idea of success. <laughs> it literally still is. I'm not kidding. It's evolved, but it really still is. I um my idea of success honestly is where I'm at right now. Being able to if I help one person a day, I'm successful. I like 
I did a business plan for school and that's actually what I wrote. And I think the teacher thought I was crazy, but that's exactly what it is. Like that's success to me, being able to share my story and show other people that there's a way out. Um, but my long-term idea of success is the babysitters club. <laughs> I hope to have a clinic or I will have a clinic. I was going to say, excuse me, Miss Manifest. Right. <laughs> right. you right. are going to have <laughs> I am going to have a clinic yep. um, a wellness center and it's going to be like the babysitters club in every way shape and form I just visualize the babysitters club and being out like they have the outdoors and they have like different centers in every single in all the different like yeah. portions of the backyard that's my wellness center is going to be both indoor and outdoor. And there's going to mm -hmm. be different things. And in those places and in those, in the center for people to go to heal their body from yoga to chakra balancing, to light therapy, um, to journaling. Cause I'm like such a journaler. Um, there's going to be, I know, I know how you feel actually about the journaling. <laughs> yeah. But, there's going to be all of those beautiful things in there to just be able to reparent and refresh our bodies. I love that. And what's something that you um, have learned or you're still in the process of learning that you wish you had learned sooner? To just be mm -hmm. and to just surrender. And I had said, like, you so inspire me. And you probably don't even think that you are so amazing, but mm -hmm. you are probably one of the most patient people, mm. at least externally. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, you allow yourself to actually like sit with the process, ask questions instead of just like jumping. And that was something that I've noticed about you. And I'm like so inspired because that's what I've learned is that that's what I need to do to stop jumping and to actually like let myself sit and just sit with one process and focus on that one process to just grow. And it's really hard for me, but I'm learning each and every day. And I'm like learning from you, Ashley. So. Well, I appreciate that. Um, thank you. You're um, <laughs> I told her I was going to make her blush, and she's blushing. You did it. Um, <laughs> Lordy. So um, what are some of the tips and motivators that you have used um, along your career path? Identify negative thoughts. Understand your negative thoughts. Recreate your negative thoughts. Three simple steps. I base my entire life off of them. Take your time, notice when you have something negative going on in your mind, then start to just like take that thought and ask yourself, where did this come from? Like understand it deeply. When I have a negative thought, I literally go back and I say, this happened to me when I was three years old and I'm still holding on to it. That's what understanding your thought is. So then you can recreate it. And every time it comes back in your head, you can say, this isn't Michaela. Like, this isn't my now present moment Michaela. Mm -hmm. This is my three-year-old Michaela. So I'm going to recreate that. I'm going to release it, and I'm going to recreate it. And so those are my those are my three tips. Three. I love that. One tip in oh, – my fingers are doing this weird thing, so I'm going <laughs> to <say> that. <laughs> that is actually really good because I think a lot of times it's so easy to get caught up um, in the past but in the future, right? So, in, in it's, it's, it's so necessary. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah, um, I want to talk a little bit about your um, wellness, uh, your, your virtual wellness, um, what did you do? The block party, you did the retreat. Like, let's talk about how you're hosting these events I have in no quarantine. Idea. I have no freaking clue. <laughs> I Talk to me. What no are you, you, you are actually doing Babysitter's Club already. I know. I know. Virtually. And I'm, it's mind-blowing. I cannot believe 
all of the things that I have done because I really don't know how. Um, the first retreat, the Mindful Woman um, retreat, and Ashley, I'm so happy that you got to be on that journey with Tiffany and I. About, no, we're talking no, about you now. No, we're not going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was really exciting. Um, Tiffany, my beautiful, beautiful co-partner, and I, we got on a phone call. We ended up realizing that we both had the exact same vision to have a retreat. Um, and we just got the speakers. We got the Zoom going. And we, we did it. <laughs> And we just like enjoyed every single step of our process. Um, and it just blossomed into this really beautiful thing. And I took so much from it. Tiffany took so much from it. And our audience and participants took so much from it. So that was amazing. It was, it was amazing. I took like two and a half weeks off after that because I was just drained, you know, mm-hmm. after Issa through her her block party right block party, thinking yeah. of that and then thinking of the idea of a virtual block party which ended up happening next for me definitely totally isa inspired love that girl and so i was so excited um to do that with daria my other co-partner and mm-hmm. tiffany and putting together that retreat which again was just like a wellness retreat there was three different rooms, four different rooms that you could hop from and get new new information and hear from new speakers. And it was all on wellness and growth, both retreats, releasing and just like being and surrendering. Um, we had, again, so much great information. Participants got so much from it. Daria, Tiffany and I learned so much from it. Like talk about challenging my body was challenged to grow Mm -hmm. in a way that I had no idea I could grow. Things were coming up for me and I was like, what's going on? Things from my past self, like whether it be like anger or like, what are you doing? That's not right, right? And thankfully I was so, I was blessed to really be able to have Daria and Tiffany on that journey with me so that they could, they would sit and say, Michaela, just like think for a second. (laughs) And just think about your flexibility in this moment. Think about this and think about that so that you can continue Mm -hmm. to do what you need to do. Because there were times I was like, I'm done with this. I'm not doing this. And I had to sit with that and look at my own doing in the situation. And again, challenging and understanding so that I could recreate. And it turned out to be so beautiful. So it's so exciting. And what do we have coming up next? And coming up next, I'm really excited to begin the Dare to be Different program. And that's just with Manifest Peace. And of course, the Mindful Tribe and Tiffany and Daria will still always be included. Um, but the Dare to Be Different program is based off of my new and upcoming book. I'm really excited. It's a workbook, Dare to Be Different. Dare to Be Different, it's literally a simplified version of releasing and reprogramming so that we can be free from generational curses. Like, we gotta be free. That's, there's no more of that. (laughs) We're done being held down by chains. Um... So I'm really excited. Yes, I'm really excited about that. And so the program is a 10 month program and it's gonna be based off of each chapter of the book. I like don't have it each chapter with me right in this very moment of things. Okay. But the first we'll, send, chapter, we'll send them to your page for, uh, for, for all the deets. Yes, Just go to my page for all the details to see what those 10 months um are themed but each month I'm going to be I'm inviting some really beautiful healers creatives teachers amateur experts oh boy (laughs) (laughs) oh boy (laughs) to do some healing circles to help to encourage that generation or to encourage that reparenting Mm -hmm. towards healthy patterns um, and so that's going to be really exciting. And I'm excited to kick it off 
with the Dare to Heal virtual retreat. Um, it's going to be in August, nice. August 1st and August 2nd. Again, okay. there it's starring some amazing healers, activists, teachers, coaches. Um, it's it's going to be beautiful in every way, shape, and form. You definitely get a copy of the book as well if you get the full pass. Um, so I'm really excited for this. I'm excited for the whole journey. And every step of my journey has been I, something that I'm still kind of speechless over. So I'm excited to see what the universe and God has next in store for me for sure. I'm so excited for you um, and what you have to come. Um, I want to thank you for being on the show today. Um, one of the things that sticks out to me about this conversation that we've had today is the um, the power of our minds, the power of um, community, um, and um, um, what was the third thing I was going to say? I don't know. I lost it. But I'm super excited for you. I'm cheering for you always. Um, and as we wrap up, I am the amateur expert and I know a little bit about a lot and I would love for you to share with me a random fact or tidbit of information. Oh my gosh, I'm like on the spot. I've seen your show so many times that <laughs> you were going to ask this um, and I forgot. Um, Why don't you re um, relist? Okay, go ahead. I was going to say relist your three steps, but go ahead. I'm okay. what? I was going to say that I'm like a natural born swimmer. Are you? And I basically should be an Olympic champion. Um, I'm really that good. And I don't say that just to toot my own horn. I say that just because that's like my freeing space. Mm. That's my flowing space. But like all of the elements of the earth are. But like especially when I swim, you bring me to the beach and like you're definitely on the shore. And I'm like way out there with the sharks because I'm like, Okay, I'm kidding. I'm not with sharks, but I do. <laughs> I do just like, I love the ocean. I love the amount of abundance it brings. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm in like a really sticky place, I go to that swimming, um, that feeling that swimming gives me. And I look into my visual, my, my visual ocean, I guess you could say, in my mind. And okay. I reach out my hand. And I tell myself I'm so abundant and I let myself like swim off into the moon, into the sunset, into whatever. Oh, and so yeah. that is a random fact on just like always just visualize your happiest of places and flow with whatever makes you flow. Remembering that you're super abundant and you're super loving and the universe and God I, I, they're two separate things, guys. It's like not the same. And God has got you. Like, they got you. And yeah. I appreciate you, Michaela. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate you. You're so amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, please drop your um, social media handles. Where can people find you? How can they register for um, the next retreat? So manifest underscore peace. You can find me on Instagram, manifest peace. There's like a Facebook page. Um, and Michaela Wood, pretty much like Michaela Wood. <laughs> um, it's like what I go by. Um, and you can register for the retreat with the link in my bio. Um, I have not put out the flyers yet because I wanted the amateur expert to get the get all the scoop first. I so you. the flyer is going up on my website, but or up on my page, but you can still get all the information with the link in my bio. It's up on my website, manifestpeace.com. So it's manifest with an S, peace.com. Um, so I'll put all this info in the show notes. Amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Ashley. You're so welcome. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining. Wait, Michaela, we got a smile. Ah, lost her. Oh, well, thank you guys for joining. Take care. <laughs>